So I'm really excited. I am starting my new series today. It's going to be called Face Mask Friday because I think that Facial Friday might get searched under the wrong, like, uh, <laughs> interest. So Face Mask Friday will be fine. I might do other things um, in regards to putting stuff on your face like a facial scrub or um, a like sheet mask or a whole bunch of other things. So it doesn't always have to be just like a normal standard mask. But I didn't want to call it facial because, yeah. Not, not a good idea for a YouTube video name. So, okay, um, the first thing I want to talk about um, in this series is going to be mainly drugstore. I'm going to just show you my favorite drugstore brands, my favorite drugstore masks, my favorite um, like hidden gems of the drugstore because there's a lot of them. And I have used a lot of them in, over the years, and so I'm just going like, to be going through and repurchasing a lot of the ones I used to use, or discovering new ones, and just trying them on on camera for you. So, um, yeah, let's just start. I'm going to try to make these all these videos under 10 minutes, if possible, because I know I always make really long YouTube videos, so here's hoping I can keep them short. So the first one I'm going to talk to you guys about, the first one of the series, is one of my all-time favorite face masks. Um, it is the Freeman Feeling Beauty Facial Enzyme Mask, the pineapple one. And I'm going to just put it up to the camera so you can actually read it. So, this one is amazing. I've been using this since high school. My sister brought home a three-pack around Christmas, her first year working at Rite Aid. So it was probably like 2004, 2005 or something like that. I don't know, maybe even earlier than that. Anyways, it had three of these in it. It had this one, a cucumber one and like a like a normal like mint mask and this one has been a staple for me since that day <laughs> like i have always had to have this under my sink um it's my favorite 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 drugstore mask now this one is not a clay mask so it's not going to dry on your skin which i like because a lot of face masks that dry like clay masks um I have to be really careful not to dry out my skin too much, so I can't do them all that often. But this one I can use two or three times a week and my skin just, like, it looks better. So the back says, This enzyme mask with pineapple extract and AHAs gently exfoliates while it lightly moisturizes, leaving your skin soft, supple, and younger looking. Ideal for normal to combination skin types. So you're just going to apply it to your face in, like, a thin to thickish cover layer, and then, um... Wait 10 minutes and rinse it off. I like to do this a lot of times when I, right before I get in the bath, or if I'm going to be editing a video or a blog post, or I just know that I'm going to be sitting down and watching YouTube videos for a while. Um, I do this on a lot of stressful days and on my period a lot. So this is going to be the only video I'm going to do this, but I'm going to show you how I take off my makeup to prepare my skin for a face mask. So um, this is actually how I wash my face a lot of nights, but not every night. But this is how I like to prep my skin for face masks because it really will open up your pores and like get your skin ready. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my little jar of coconut oil, which is the best makeup remover that I've ever found, and I'm just going to take about that much. Um, it's kind of a solid-ish form right now because it's a little bit colder today. You ready for this? I'm going to go all sort of clown face right now. And yep, this is a waterproof mascara, and there we go. Um, so I just scrub and scrub and scrub, and it'll get all of it off, get all my eyebrow stuff off, under my eyes, around my nose. And the best part is because it's just coconut oil, it's fine to like get in your mouth and stuff. Okay, so now that that's sit, I'm going to get some hot water on this and I'll show you what to do next. And then just wring it out. And you're just going to take it and drape it over your face and let the heat um, kind of like open your pores and get all the makeup off. Yep, that's my face of makeup right there. <laughs> now, I know I probably didn't have to take off my eye makeup to do a face mask, but I wanted to show you how well the coconut oil works at getting off your makeup. My towel's getting a little um, cold, so I'm going to run it under hot water again. And then again, just to open my pores, I'm going to do it a, a second time. So 
So also I got these Quash Floss at Costco. They were $10 for a 24 pack and I just do them all in the same load together and bleach them every time. Or every once in a while to be honest, I don't bleach them every time. But it keeps them nice and white and clean and fluffy. Okay, so there's all the makeup off. Let's apply the mask. So I'm just going to pat dry with a towel, a new fresh towel. And so here we go. It is, it smells really good. It smells like pineapples. It doesn't smell chemically at all. Um, it's not a very strong scent either, so if you're sensitive to scents, you might be able to use this still. And I'm going to use about that much. And I'll just put this hand right up to the camera so you can see it. It kind of looks like jello. <laughs> um, some people like to kind of increase the spa like uh, feeling and imply, apply it with a brush. This is the e.l.f. Um, essential foundation brush, and I actually bought a few of these to apply masks with. But for today, I'm just going to apply it with my hands. So I just start applying it in a thick, goopy layer. Avoid your eyes. If it gets in your eyebrows, that's okay. It actually used to have a tiny bit of grit in it, but it doesn't feel like it does anymore. And I'm going to put it on my neck too because my neck gets dry a lot. You guys probably can't even tell that I've put this on my face, but it's there. It's shiny and weird looking. And that's it. That's it. And then I like to go sit in front of my computer or hop in the bathtub or go watch some Netflix or something. Um, grab some coffee or some wine, go outside, relax, forget that it's even on. It's really comfortable. It doesn't like tingle or anything weird. So yeah. All right. I'll see you in 10 minutes. Whoops. <laughs> it's been almost 15 minutes because I was watching Fleur de Forces. Fleur de Forces. Ah, sorry, Fleur. Fleur's new haul. And God, I got to her like the clothing section of the video and I just couldn't stop. So I just sat here and kept watching and it's been like 15 minutes. But it's about the same because I applied a pretty thick layer anyways, so, um, what can I say? Um, it's definitely still, like, wet and tacky. It, like I said before, it doesn't dry on your face. Um, it's not tingly, it just feels cool and, like, refreshing, but it doesn't, like, tingle and kind of, like, burn like some masks do. It's just really nice. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Let's just take it off and we'll take a look at my skin after. So to take it off, I'm just going to um, duck into the sink and essentially put warm water and like rinse it off and then I'll go back in with another wet washcloth and then just make sure everything's off and then pat dry with a clean towel. You don't want to use super hot water, by the way. For this part, you just want to use like warm water. <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to pat dry with a clean and fresh towel. Okay, <laughs> so two things that I can like, like tell you about the wash off process. There still is a little bit of grime. I did feel it. Um, this one, I okay. So like I was saying, I use this all the time. Have for the past 10, 15 years. But this bottle in particular isn't as grimy. I don't know why. It does have some grime in it. As I was like trying to rinse it off, I could feel the exfoliating like grit in there. But at least this bottle, I'm not sure, I'll have to wait until my next bottle. It used to be a lot more exfoliating, like there was a lot more like texture to this than it is now. Um, second thing I can say is it's quite slimy. Like if you don't regularly use a washcloth to wipe off your makeup and to wash your face, it is worth getting, just go to Kmart or the Dollar Tree or tear up an old t-shirt. It's worth having something to help remove face masks, but particularly these kind of slimier ones, it will leave a slimy film on your face if you don't kind of help scrub it off. Uh, your hands, it, it does work if you don't want, if you don't have something to use, but it doesn't work as well. So I would definitely invest in some washcloths. And yeah, um, my skin is really super, super soft, feels really moisturized and nice. Um, the little blemish here I can see already has like gone down a lot. And 
Um, around my nose I had a whole bunch of like dry patches when I was applying my foundation this morning. I was like, ah, I need to do a face mask because my nose is getting dry. I get dry patches around here, which is actually where I get the oiliest, so I don't know what that is. And then also here on both sides of my face and my forehead. And they're all really like hydrated right now. So this is my all-time favorite mask. It's my favorite thing. If Freeman ever were to just send me a box of like a hundred of these, I would just be so happy because... My favorite. My sister still uses this. I've tried to make all my friends use this in the past. I recommend this to everyone. So that's it for this review. I love the mask. I hope you do too. If you try it, tweet me, Facebook me, Instagram <laughs> me. Um, Instagram is Sarah Loves Coffee. Everything else is at Lipstick Dupe. Um, take a picture of yourself, send it to me, or don't take a picture and just tell me that you used it. Leave a comment below, anything. I love hearing from you guys and I love when uh, other people love products as much as I do. So yeah, anyways, I look forward to seeing you next Friday for my next one. I think it's going to be another Freeman Beauty mask because I have about 10 of these underneath my counter and yeah, they're dying for some attention. So. Alright, I love you guys very much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!